Hey y'all, this is Dee Dee with My Favorite Groomer on YouTube and thanks for watching. This, uh, hi baby. <laughs> All right, this is Parker, and I've groomed him a couple times now. I just can't seem to get it right, but I do listen. I listen to what the owner wants, and um, I just can't seem to get it right. You would think it's pretty easy, and sometimes it's just not. So this time he said that, I mean, I just, he, I don't do it. You guys, uh, I try to do 10 reverse on the face, and that's as short as I've ever done a poodle's face, okay? But he's always said, the owner, he wants it shorter and I just can't get it shorter. So last time I told him, I don't do any other blades, right? So I've asked some of my counterparts. Uh, a friend of mine said use an eight and a half reverse and maybe even a 15 reverse. So uh, I, t I said, I've got pr get permission from you to make sure you know that this could burn the dog. Um, not like the blade burning the dog, but like after the haircut, when you go home. You know how it's just a little too short and things start rubbing on the skin? Well, that burns the dog is what I mean. Not the heat of the blade, just the cut being so short later on at home. But he is adamant that Parker's gotten a very, 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 someone else did a very short haircut and she was at that groom salon twice and then she moved. So he would be still using her if... He, that lady didn't change. They just couldn't get it right at that groom salon after she left as well. So each of us grooms differently. And in this case, I'm trying to make him happy. Um, it is very high maintenance groom in the sense of like, I cannot get it right. So every time you tell me something to do, I just can't get it. So I'm still trying. And sometimes it takes a few times to get it right. But we're going to try a couple different things today that I have not tried. And um, each client wants what they want. He is so confusing, but... He wants a clean face and he wants to see, this is a military owner, he wants to see the line here. So I'm not going to fade that in, which is odd to me. He wants to see a distinct line there, okay? Um, he wants the chest, okay, down the, this is what he said to me. Down the face, uh, down the neck, and down all down here should be a different shorter length than the back of the body. And you can see this is short to me. This is already short. He just came in. And he wants it short all the time. And then he said the clean feet should be very, very clean like the face. So we're talking, that I'm almost thinking he, did someone use a 40 reverse, you know? Um, okay. So he said the clean feet, which I do, 10 reverse. I'm going to try something just different, I guess, today. Should be, you know, an inch up above clean feet. So. We're gonna start on this. He actually said, this top knot, leave it alone. It's good, just kind of shape it up a little bit. Ears are good, shape it up. He doesn't. Want, he wants this top knot just that as it is. And um, here we go. This is, you just never know what you need to do for your clients. Listen and repeat what they say over and over until you know and you're clear with what they're saying to you, okay? So here we go. It, it's, it's edgy because you're trying to make this right, but you're also like, well, am I supposed to do my job? You know what I mean? Like. Now you're kind of, it, you make, it makes it, when people have way too much description, sometimes it's like, well, what do you want me to do? Like, okay, so I've got an eight and a half and, um, I'm going to just wipe this and I'm a little nervous, but oh, well, you know, we just got to do what we got to do. Eight and a half reverse is what I'm going to try right now on his face. Eight and a half reverse on the face here. Let's see what this does. I don't know about this whole leaving a line thing.
stretch that lip all the way back, you guys. And again, this is not, I would like to fade this in more, but he wants like a distinct line. So we're just gonna try to work with it. I don't know, we'll just see. Stretch that lip so you don't get in any of the lip, but you also get everything, all the edge up on the inside there. Okay, um, oddly enough, I'm gonna come back and do like, I don't think that that's short. I've seen some of them pretty short too, and I think I know what he needs. So I'm going to do what he said. We're going to go, I'm going to continue doing my, um, reverse here and what the hair grows back and forth. So go against it no matter what, with, when you're doing reverse, you got to go against the grain. Sometimes the growth here goes in a circle. So you'll have to kind of take that up a couple different ways. I'm creating like a something here, this thing going here like this. Cause that's exactly what he showed me with his hands. Said all that coming down. Should all be the same length as under the tummy. Okay, so. I don't really want to use this ten and a half or eight and a half underneath the tummy here. I'm just gonna fade this. I'm gonna use my ten back in there. That's what I feel safe using on the tummy area. But I am gonna get this so this looks like it's all going down the same. And then we're gonna come back here with the ten anyway. Ten down is gonna go back that way. So the eight and a half is a 2.8 millimeter and we're going reverse. And then we're gonna come back with a 10 down at 1.5 millimeter. But it puts it real close to each other. You know what I mean? Okay, so we've got that part down, I think. Still got my eight and a half on. Okay, I'm gonna do back with your 10. Let me make sure here. So this is a 10 down. You guys can't see anything, my bad. Ten down here.
And he said something like, you can see right here how much shorter it is down there. So, I wonder what they were doing. I'm kind of curious if they were doing like a straight up 10 reverse, you know? Because you can see, I'm going to do the 10 reverse here. You can see a distinct distinction when I do this 10 reverse here. This line. Just make sure you go against the grain. I don't really want to hit the skin, so I'm doing this jab motion. I'm not really touching the skin if I can. Hmm. Can you guys see? Okay. I'm not gonna spend too much time on those uh, front feet and the feet because I gotta come back and do reverse anyway. Sorry about that. All right, so let's come over here now. Still working on the tin down. Again, hold your clippers at an angle where the blade doesn't touch the body and there won't be any burning ever. If you don't know how to do it, test your arm. Shave your own arm. You don't want the blade touching, but you want the tips to be cutting the hair. You want the teeth to be cutting the hair. You okay? That's the edge of the table, buddy. <laughs> That's the edge of the table. Don't step over there. He 
said he likes to tail bushy, so I'm going to leave it alone. He also said he likes this sanitary area sh very, very close, so I still think that they're doing a 10 reverse. I told he said he could find out for me what they did, but he didn't, he didn't. So I'm doing some weird stuff, like this reverse situation. I'm just doing what I can, mentally thinking of what this guy wants. This would not be normally what I would do, you guys, so. I'm going to have him stand up. I'm doing a 10 reverse here. Some areas I've done the tin, like up under the uh, legs and stuff, a little bit, you know, as far as reverse, but not the hole underneath. I'll go tin down. Okay, up again. Don't move, buddy. Yeah, I don't know. I hope that's what he wants. It's pretty short under there. Okay, I'm going to change my tin blade. Come back and um, I'm actually going to do my tin blade in his ear. Just a tad there, watch your lips and stuff like that in there. And then down here with the hair, stop. Stop, don't move.
Okay. Still thinking it needs to be shorter on his face over here. So this is a 10. I'm coming 10 reverse now. And I can still get more off compared to what that eight and a half reverse did. So go figure. Let's see if I'm getting even more with this. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit more than that eight and a half reverse with this 10 reverse. So let me come back and edge it up more. Got a little where it grows backwards right there. Okay. Got my tin, just kind of seeing if I can get any more because he wants it really short. Parker is very cooperative, so other dogs, I mean, we're talking could be more expensive if it's moving around a lot. This, at least he cooperates for the most part, right? Coming back a little bit here, I can see a little stuff, you know? Do your 10 reverse under the armpits a tad bit if you see anything. Okay, so now I'm gonna use a uh, foot blade. Maybe this will bring that in a little tighter on the feet. It's called the 5 8 I don't really use this all the time because it I prefer just to use the edges of the tin. So I've got my 5 8 blade. It's, uh, if you need any of these tools, please email me. Go to myfavoritegroomer.com to connect with me there. I guess what I'll do first actually is come back with my, come with my 40 blade. So the bottoms are real clean and then see if this will take off more. So let me change out to my 40 blade first. Let's see what you guys can see here. We're working with the feet, we'll come down this way. Hopefully, I don't forget to change up. Okay, I'm gonna come in here with my 40. Cord. My least favorite thing about grooming is the cord. Normally I wouldn't be too detailed about this, but because of the requirements of this groom, I'm actually just really taking the 40 into some areas here on top, like through the bottom to the middle here and in between the digits. So maybe it'll save me time when I go to do the 10 reverse on top and that 5 8.
I'm going to save my arm here a little bit so I can just hold up this paw with this dog up stand. Give him some support so I can just raise up the paw here. So I don't have to actually hold him up. He's applying pressure as I'm holding his paw up. So now he doesn't have to apply pressure by giving me his weight. Because I'm going in such detail, you know what I mean? So I'm not trying to do it fast. I'm trying to like really get all the hair out of there and around it and on top. So this will help. Okay, now I'm going to come back with my tin, or actually my, let's do this 5 8 blade for the clean feet on top here. Hold on buddy, hold on Parker. Really get in there in between the digits with this one. Hold on buddy, Parker. The 5 8 blade is going to really allow you to get in just in between the toes without angling your tin blade, you know? So let's see if this makes a huge difference. No, no. Yeah, right. No, 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 no. No, no. Okay, come back now with your tin.
And he wants it kind of high, so I'm going to see what we can do here. Bring it up just about where that dew wall is, I'm thinking. This is a personal preference groom, so doing that. So we're going to do this here, same thing over here. Same thing, come back here and edge up your tin. You see it look like chicken feet now. this so I can kind of see what I'm really working with left. See where we're at. Let me sweep this all off. Okay. Let's check it out. Come back. I'm going to come back with a 40 on that. Just random little hairs, just I'm catching them with a tin reverse a little bit there. I'm going to come back and see some of these edges here on the feet with the 40. This is my 40 blade. Very lightly under that pad there. I'll do some nail trimming.
and then pulling the ear hair out. Okay. I'll sweep this again to kind of look it over one more time. I'm going to do a little conditioner here, leave-in conditioner, just a tad. I'm going to brush this out. I'm going to leave that alone so the bushy tail. some kisses. Can you give me kisses? Okay, let's see what's going on right here. I'm going to come back with my tin. Back to this area right here. It's got the same um, where I took it off, you know. I'm going to use a two guard and kind of just blend that a tad in the back of the neckline here. See what we got here. He wants a line here, you guys.
Oh my goodness, stop moving. Even if it's a slight move when you have scissors, it's not cool. Okay, here's our end product um, where, I, where I think we're good on Parker. We did real tight on the top knot, barely did anything to the top, but we created some lines here, hopefully, is what, uh, what he means. And I'm going to have Dad, he's willing to be on camera, at least critiquing the situation. So here comes Dad. All right, William, come back. And tell me uh, if, where we're at today. Hey, Parker. Oh, don't get down, boy, down. Now. Now. Is this what you mean by lines here? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be honest, now, because we want to get it where you want it. No, that, that's kind of what you're looking okay. for. And the length is uh, length's good on... So I like him nice and short like that. That's right. Is this even... Sh is this, is this yeah, what you... No, that's fine. It's fine. That's it's fine. fine. Do, yeah, are, like would you, are you even, um, what you were used to before, is it even shorter than this? Uh, well, one time it was, but it, it's not necessarily, and this is fine. This I is mean, fine? That, yeah, that looks, as long as it's even. Okay. You know, it's not short here and a little bit, you know, uh -huh. out a little bit. Okay. No, it's even. Okay. Yeah, what if, and we did, I actually went shorter here, down the neckline, and then down here is shorter than the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. Is that right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. That looks good. That looks good. Okay. That looks good. Yeah, that face, I mean, that's short. I mean, you know. That's it's short, man, and I, I was like, man, yeah. no, I can no, do, uh, I, I want to, I don't know what they use. I can't believe it, but there are some groomers wish, out there that probably did use a 40, and I've seen it, so. I would, I wish I'd have taken a picture, but no, he's fine. No, he gets Looks good? Yeah. So, it's an, uh, it's up to you. We have a non-bath package price, so with a bath is different than the non-bath package price, so. Well, uh, well, I'm not going to, well, have you given him bath today? No. Oh, okay. Well, I'll give him a bath at home. Today, okay, since great. He's already done. All right, great. So, are you happy today? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I Anything that we need to fix? A little shorter. A little shorter on the feet. Okay. Well, so I gonna, mean, this is a really short. So, what we can do is you can stand here and assist, and I'll do a forty on the feet. That's as I'm not really sure what else the other blade to use on the feet to make them shorter, sir. Well, just so, uh, I'll stand here and watch it and. and See, you can watch, though. but if it burns later, you need to take note that this is yeah, too yeah, short. Yeah. Well, I got some, uh, I got some, uh, what do you call it? Uh, but this is not normally what I would do. Okay. Right. So come down here. Down, Park. Get down. So you down. can, you can, you're already here. You want to just do two hands on his head here. Just do two hands here. And jumping up and down, we don't want that. No jump.
Jake, and you boy, you see? You see? Yeah, just about up that high. And then just like a, a line across there, kind of sort of. Okay, what are we thinking? Oh, yeah, 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 yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Will that work? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's catch something here. Arthur, it looks like you got, it looks like you got, uh, it looks like you got a uh, web feet back there on that one left on your right paw. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the white looks different than the other one. All right, let's see here. All right, so we did end up going, to going with a 40. I wouldn't recommend that, but we did a 40 reverse on his clean feet. Uh, be very careful when you're doing that. I did not go push down too hard to so it would literally cut the foot so be careful and we'll talk to you soon thanks for watching hey you guys this is Dee Dee with my favorite groomer thanks for watching okay so that was Parker and uh, honestly uh, I was grooming and thinking how much shorter can I go right uh, you guys are a camera and a picture honestly when I see a picture I'm just like oh my gosh because a picture is just not 3d and you can't touch it and see it you just see color you know you don't see thickness so when someone wants to give me a picture and tell me to do a cut, I can do the shape and everything, but I can't do the width, you know, the thickness of the coat that was left at that time. It looks, it could be two different things. You can tell this much versus this much. You know it's short versus shaved versus not shaved, but you can't tell everything through a picture. So he said, um, I wish I had a picture, and it doesn't matter if he had a picture. I mean, I could see that it was shorter, but it really would not still tell, it would still not tell me. It's like... I always go to the medical side of stuff. So if I went and got a suture, you know, and it was, um, and I took a picture of it, there's the dimension that you're not going to see when I say, Hey doctor, can you do the exact same suture that I got on this scar? You know? Um, anyways, so I just want to say, woo, trying to, uh, make sure your clients are happy is very important, but sometimes you could see, and, and we've struggled a couple to a couple grooms now trying to get it perfect for, for them. Um, you just have to listen and honestly I, I would know I don't want to use a 40 reverse on a dog's uh, clean feet that's just me if you're a groomer out there and you're doing a 40 reverse uh, you can comment below if you are another groomer doing anything other than the eight and a half reverse 10 reverse um, what's another one that I was using 15 if you're using a 15 reverse do you know do you like that do, is it even I don't even think it's that much shorter than the 10 reverse but I could be wrong so if if you want to throw your input down there without being negative um, because I don't like negative people you know what I'm saying negativity is just spawns for more negativity it creates anger so if you got to be negative about it don't comment just move on but if you have input about the type of uh, clean feet you've done or if you've done anything other than a 10 reverse face or eight and a half reverse face please let me know i will try it out 
I did not and I don't like the idea of that gosh I got hair all over me um, that 40 reverse on the feet oh no 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 what no <laughs> you know so every clients different uh, and as a groomer y'all my followers my non followers uh, people that don't watch my channel but they're just watching this by chance um, I forgot what I was gonna say so you know there's things that I wouldn't normally do but if it's requested and it's not harming the dog I will probably do that for a client but if you're not watching my channel you probably don't know that I usually follow what what the needs of the client are the needs or even possibly what their desires and wants are just like this gentleman so I want to feel like I had uh, I saw that he wasn't a hundred percent happy even with that short it was so short you guys he wasn't 100 percent happy but i felt like because he felt like he was on youtube or video he didn't want to be like 100 percent honest so when he was like uh, you know you can kind of hear that right and i'm like what else other blade would i be using on the body to go even shorter than that um i'm willing to try it but i don't i don't want to try it does that make sense like i'm willing to try it if someone else is telling me hey Didi, go ahead and try that one you know I'm, i'd be willing to try it but I'm not going to just pull out a 40 blade and go reverse on the body. You know, I just, no. Um, I'm chit-chatting too much. So, whoa, uh, because of the complexity of that groom, that was a, sh a haircut only at $40 plus tax. I'm usually done 30 minutes. But because there's so much requirements, go short here. It's not just a, a, a cut and go. It's detail work, scissor work, um, being... Um, wanting specific things done and having to go over them or over them to make sure it's right i did increase that groom cost i don't know if he'll return but if you feel like you're that took an hour just the haircut alone so i i know you guys watch my channel there i'm usually done it with a haircut alone in 30 minutes so for me to take an hour on a haircut that tells me like i am spending a lot of time doing hair cutting here a hand scissoring and things like that so if it requires more of your expertise it takes more time to get the groom done it is your call to set your prices so for me uh, a full groom on that dog would cost 75 plus tax that includes the bath and everything we only did just skipping the bath that's the only thing we did so everything else should be the same but because there's a military discount there that i'm giving i did say uh, we, we are going up from 40 plus tax to 60 65 plus tax 60 or 65 plus tax is what i quoted them so if the if the complexity of the groom i have other clients that come in we do it's just a quick 30 minute shave down not too picky they you know not too detailed so if it's not if it's too detailed the cost is gonna you have to you know go with like manage your cost how you want to do it so i increase the cost um so we can get it right every time and i can spend that much time with his dog so uh adjust accordingly and thanks for watching thanks uh whew, crazy okay you never know, and um, again, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.